Running a slam stem is basically what the pros do, but will it make you faster or will it just increase your chances of getting a injury? Now I tried slamming my stem for 30 days to test this. I will show you how to slam your stem, what slamming your stem means, why you would potentially want to slam your stem, a comparison of my position on the bike with it slammed and with it not slammed. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna explain my thoughts and what I actually think about slamming your stem. And as always, it's gonna be pretty damn honest. So what does slamming your stem actually mean? Well, what it means is reducing your stem stack height. Now that means basically dropping your handlebars lower to the ground. Now slamming your stem is pretty simple, but to do it, you need to do a couple of things. So I'm just gonna run over how I actually slam my stem in case you guys and girls want to in the future. So first things first, you need to remove the stem cap. This is the bolt that's on the top of the forks facing downwards. Now once that is loose and removed, you can then undo the stem bolts. Now with the stem loose, you can simply remove your cockpit from the frame. Yes, that's right people, we call it a cockpit. Now, if like me, you had your stem pretty high on the forks, then what that will mean is there'll be plenty of washers underneath the stem. Now, the amount can vary here depending on how many you actually have and where your bars are currently positioned. Now, you can chop and change. You can put some spaces on top, some under, so you can adjust your stem height as you like. Now, in my case, I wanted to test slamming the stem. So what I'm gonna do is remove all of those spaces, all of those washers. I'm gonna put the stem back on and then I'm gonna put all the washers on top. This leaves me with what we call a chimney. Yeah, that's right, it's a chimney. Now you can cut that off, but I didn't know how I was gonna find slamming my stem, so obviously in my case, I've left it how it is. Now that the stem's back on, we can put the stem cap back on the top and tighten it enough so that your bars move freely but not so loose that there is play in the stem. Now do this a little by little, quarter turn by quarter turn. I will probably be doing a full video on adjusting your sort of headset and also cleaning your headset bearing. So subscribe if you wanna see that in the future. So once you have that tension correct so that your bars can move nice and freely, you can then do up the stem bolts. Now you wanna make sure that your wheel is aligned with your stem perfectly. And then you can do the stem bolts up to the correct torque setting. In my case, it is five Newton meters. So there we have it, the stem is slammed. The stem is pretty low down actually, and it feels low down when you're actually on the bike. So moving on to the next point, which is position on the bike. Now, I have done a comparison because I wanted to show you guys what it was like. So I will pop up on screen now what it's like with the stem normal, and I will pop up on screen what it's like with the stem slammed. Now, you can see that I am lower, but also what you can see is, it affects all areas of the body. Now, when you slam your stem, essentially what happens is, you feel like you're higher on the seat. So then you feel higher on the seat, it's not quite as comfortable. You then start questioning your seat height. You think, are oh, my hips rolling? You then realize that, hang on a sec, my reach has actually maybe increased a little bit because the bars are lower, I've actually had to put my hands further out. So what I'm saying is, everything in bike fit is intertwined. You cannot just slam your stem and assume that it won't affect any other area of your bike fit. Now, when I slammed my stem, I didn't adjust the rest of my bike. Probably a bad point on my part. Um, I did research, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to just slam it and see. It's all one complicated world, your bike fit peeps. Now, the main argument for slamming your stem or reducing your handlebar stack height is to improve aerodynamics. Now, think about it. If your bars are lower, then your whole frontal area is lower, and that means you are lower. There is less air that's gonna hit you. You are more aerodynamic. Now, there is a quote that says, a reduction in stack height by something like 20 millimeters, two centimeters, could easily save six to 10 watts in aerodynamic drag at around 20 miles per hour if the cyclists reduce their torso angle accordingly. So what I take by that is, if you get your body out the way of the wind, you are gonna save watts. One thing I kind of feel is, you can consciously tuck in and duck down. Whether your stem is slammed or not, you can get as low as you want when you're on the drops. Obviously, if your bars are super low, your stack super low, your super low, it does all help. But I think for a lot of us that ride, when we ride, do we think, you know what, I'm gonna really tuck in and get low. So I don't know if, that is a conscious decision we can just make and slamming your stem isn't the right way to go. It is worth noting that this has been tested in wind tunnels and it's not just, you know, figures that are plucked out of thin air, aerodynamic thin air. 
So let's move on to the next step, which for me is it's about feel and not just about theory. Now, as you guys and girls know, this is a channel for the average cyclist, for the people. It's no nonsense, it's, it's truthful and honest and to the point. Now, here is a truth bomb, if I'm honest. Just because the pros do it, it doesn't mean that we should do it. Because what you can do with this information, what companies can do with this information is provide it to you in a way that it sounds really, really appealing so that you change it or you buy something or you feel like you can get faster just by doing that. Now, in reality, Dropping your bars is gonna actually affect your body position massively. Now, it puts a lot more strain on your core and your neck. So if you are not flexible, if you have problems with your hip flexors and you can't get down that low, then it is potentially gonna make you uncomfortable. Now, here is another truth bomb that I also drop in many of my videos. Comfortable is fast because when you are comfortable, you can push harder for longer. So comfort versus speed is, there's a correlation there to be had on your bike, okay? So I just wanna make that one clear because that's one thing I found out when riding. It did drop me down, yes, and I did feel more aerodynamic, yes. However, I started to get a pain in my, in my neck and that was, just over time, I think, just riding, because you're essentially lower down, so you've got to really arch your neck. <laughs> this looks funny on camera. Anyway, you've got to really arch your neck, and that can cause more pain, whereas when you're more upright, there is less tension on your neck. It's not always about the theory, it's about the actual practical out on the road. Now, this is gonna be dependent on the individual, so if it works for you, it works for you. But do bear in mind, it affects your whole body, all the way back to your hips, to your legs, and it can you can have pains in different areas of your, of your body because your reduction in stack height. So finally, what do I think in conclusion after slamming my stem for 30 days? I would say, don't do it. I wouldn't slam it. I would maybe take a couple of spacers out if you wanted to drop it lower. Maybe take one spacer out, drop it, ride it for a month, see how it feels out on the road in reality. If it's good, drop it down another one maybe, and then go like that. Comfort beats aero, in my opinion, in terms of long rides. Bear in mind at the time I was doing rides that were four, five, six hours. I was training for essentially a 300 mile ride over three days. So I was out on the bike all day. And finally, I will say that Dropping your stem is not gonna make you faster, faster, faster. Focusing on the engine will make you faster. Focusing on you, focusing on your health, focusing on your training, your diet, all of those things. Yes, we wanna spend money on our bikes, upgrade our bikes. But at the end of the day, the healthier and stronger and fitter you are, the faster you will ride. So there we go, peeps. I hope that gives you a little insight into what it's like actually slamming your stem and whether or not you should do it. Maybe give it a try. It didn't really work for me. Thank you for your time and engagement watching this video. If you made it this far, as always, that is much appreciated. Watch time is really, really key for the channel growth. If you like this video, thumbs up, wanna see more, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, thank you very much. Until the next one, self-love and safe riding.